you haven't heard, the out of touch US government is trying to ban TikTok again. If you got a notification in the TikTok app like this one, which says your freedom to create is at risk, the US House of Representatives will vote on a TikTok ban. This means your content, your right to express yourself, and your income will be shut down too. Make your voice heard. Call your representative now and tell them to vote no on the TikTok ban. Hashtag keep to talk. Then you need to do this now because we have about less than 180 days, I think, to stop our U.S. government for doing something unconstitutional. And they will do something unconstitutional. And some of them, or at least most of them, are going to lie about it. Dan Crenshaw says, anyone defending to talk, you're not defending the First Amendment. Our First Amendment doesn't apply to the Chinese Communist Party. They use to talk to collect data and can weaponize that into the greatest propaganda machine against Americans we have ever seen. First and foremost, that is not true. That is the most bullshit explanation that I've ever seen. There is no definitive proof that TikTok uses is being used as a propaganda machine. And secondly, we are defending the right to use our free expression on our platform, you idiot. Sorry that you're getting complaints from Gen Z, but get over it and do what's right for the country. He's quote tweeting his colleague Rand Paul, by the way. Also, stop lying. The legislation doesn't ban TikTok. It just says it can't be controlled by our adversaries. Put America first. I hate agreeing with some Republicans, but Rand Paul is right. If Congress bans TikTok, they will be acting just like the Chinese communists who have also banned TikTok. Why not just defend the First Amendment? Because the short answer is that people Crenshaw just want co government control. That's all they want. They want to control social media companies. That's why they want to force ByteDance to sell TikTok to a different company in the United States. We are already setting a bad precedent as the country of the free world. So if you have seen this notification the other day, it says stop the TikTok shutdown. Don't let the government take away TikTok. Like Congress know what TikTok, TikTok means to you and tell them to vote no, which shows this, your freedom to create is at risk. The U.S. House, House's representatives will vote on a TikTok ban. This means your content, your right to express yourself, and your income will be shut down to make your voice heard. Call your representatives now and tell them to vote no on a TikTok ban. Hashtag keep to talk. And you know, I have a TikTok account. Real Talk with Ricky is my TikTok username. And Congress will do everything they can to ban TikTok if ByteDance doesn't sell TikTok to a different company in the United States. And I'm pretty much against forcing a sale on TikTok. It just seems unnatural and unconstitutional to do this to a corporation outside of the United States. Our statement on the latest TikTok legislation. This bill is an outright ban on TikTok, no matter how much the authors try to disguise it. This legislation will trample the First Amendment rights of 170 million Americans and deprive 5 million small businesses of a platform they rely on to grow and create jobs. And then Representative Dan Crenshaw from Texas 
completely contradicts himself and says, No one is trying to disguise anything. You're correct. We want to ban TikTok. Then why did you say that this legislation doesn't ban TikTok, you fucking moron? Of course it does. You just need to be a little bit more honest. And these types of uh, Republican politicians, they are not the most honest people in our government. They'll just flip-flop like this one is doing. It would compel a divestiture. Think of it as a, a surgery designed to remove the tumor from the patient and thereby save it. So to all those small businesses who are concerned, they can continue to lose the, use the platform as long as we separate the platform from Chinese Communist Party control. TikTok is not controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. You are wrong. And ByteDance is a private company. And a private company is not controlled by the Chinese government or any government for that matter. Lots of TikTok influencers are real mad about the bipartisan legislation we are going to pass today. Of course they're mad. You just want to dictate what the American people can or can't use. I get it. Your favorite digital drug is under threat. So I'll explain it really simply. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. First of all, if you didn't think TikTok would engage in malicious behavior before today, you shouldn't think so any longer. They are preventing users from using the platform unless you share your zip code so they can tell you which number of Congress to call and repeat their lies. Oh, wow. Dude, it's to get you to vote against something. We call your offices to address our concerns so you can vote against it. Duh. Second, the parent company of TikTok is ByteDance in China. China is not like the US. China can make companies do whatever the government wants to include hand handing over data and weaponizing social media platforms for potentially the most far-reaching psychic warfare operation in history. You never always mention that ByteDance is a private company, Dan Crenshaw, and that's how dishonest you are. Their today's legislation doesn't ban TikTok. It simply says it can't be owned by a foreign accessory like China. Under this bill, TikTok could be bought by an American company and then, hey, maybe I'll even open an account and make some viral dance videos. You just love to keep twisting words, don't you, Dan Crenshaw? I have a better idea. Hey parents, remove that damn app from your teens' phones and never allowed to be installed till they're adults. And adults, I'm sure you've read it's owned by the Chinese who really don't like America. Delete it off your phones and do something constructive. See? Common sense knowledge. If you don't like an app anymore, delete it off your phone. That's it. Which is it? You just said you want to ban it now. You're saying TikTok is scaring people into thinking they will lose the app, but they won't? Which statement is true? That Dan Crenshaw is clapper. Because, you know, Republicans like him love to flip flop. They can never get their story straight. That's straight up theft. Ownership matters. If it didn't, you wouldn't be trying to steal it. How sad is that? Is it that Americans' First Amendment rights are more safeguarded by Chinese ownership than by our, our own rotten government? Very sad because we have the dumbest politicians in the tool shed. Stop using your power and influence to censor the people. Stop using your power to influence people to take away their rights. Go after the government and remove power and protections. Calling it right now, Dan Crenshaw will double down tomorrow or next week or next month and will say that Oh, I'm not using my power to censor the American people, when he clearly is. Also, you guys can steal our data. 
Yeah, pretty much. No one is is accessing anyone's data, Dan. Unless you're talking about all of the info on you traders that call yourselves representatives. No one likes liars. Amen to that. I agree with this guy's take here, saying that you authoritarians really can't help yourselves. No, we see that the DC wants to control TikTok so you can control speech on the platform. Yeah, that's basically it. That's what's going to happen if they uh, got TikTok under control. That's what they want. As of right now, this is a legal company in this country. What is wrong with trying to get people to engage with their representatives? You're a commie. Yeah, Dan Crenshaw. You're a communist. TikTok is at it again. Manipulating users and scaring them into thinking they're about to lose TikTok. Actually, Dan Crenshaw, you're the one who is manipulating the American people. This week, the House will vote on a bill that would delist TikTok from app stores, but only if ByteDance doesn't sell the company. To be clear, this isn't a ban. Urgh, this isn't a ban, but we're delisting TikTok from all app stores. Please shut the fuck up, you patchy the pirate looking as muffer fucker. If you're delisting TikTok from both app stores, then it is a ban. Plain and simple. But this is a way we can prevent the Chinese Communist Party from accessing millions of Americans' data. Yeah, the data that you can't show us that TikTok has access to to ship to China. Like, what the fuck? How the fuck are you going to say that the Chinese Communist Party has millions of Americans' data if you literally cannot show us the digital evidence of that? TikTok is currently asking users to share their skip zip code, encouraging you to call your representative and repeat their lies. This is a prime example of information warfare. The CCP is actively stealing American data, and it has to stop now. Okay, so number one, yes, they are encouraging people to urge their representatives to vote no against banning TikTok and forcing a sale out of TikTok. Second of all, we are not going to call them to repeat their lies, as you say. We are calling them to make sure that our politicians don't vote yes. So we can keep TikTok out of the government's hands. And lastly, the CCP is not stealing my data as an American citizen. They are not stealing American data. You are over-exaggerating. Like, I'm sorry to tell you the truth to your face, Dan, but you have no digital proof that the CCP is taking Americans' data just because of TikTok. In fact, the only proof you have is that you're an annoying politician who cannot solve real issues. You only want to solve non-issues. That's what you're there for. Solving unimportant issues. You don't care about the American people at all. If you did care, you solve real issues. And I commend the House of Representatives for passing unanimously out of committee on a vote of 50 to nothing, a bill to insist that TikTok no longer be controlled by the Chinese communist controlled ByteDance. First of all, Tom Khan, ByteDance is a private company and private companies cannot be controlled by any government including the Chinese. Forcing ByteDance to sell TikTok to an American company if it's going to continue to operate in America. TikTok is a grave danger to America. No, TikTok is not a grave danger to America at all. 
you guys are grave danger to America. The Republicans are to blame for this. They are responsible. First off, it puts your data at risk because it hoovers it all up and sends it back to China. No, it does not, Tom Cotton. No, it does not. You have no digital proof of any evidence of this. Second, it's a grave danger for our youth. TikTok frequently exposes young women to videos about, say, eating disorders or self-harm, even if they haven't requested it, and young men to obscene sexual videos or violence. Yeah. And e again, even if they haven't requested it. If young girls have been exposed to eating disorder videos, then it's on the parents to be looking out for their child when they accidentally go to those videos. If a young man is exposed to sexual videos and violence, that is up to the parents to parent their child to prevent them from what they can or cannot watch, not the company. But third, as we saw last week, TikTok can become a source of propaganda. TikTok sent out a message to many of its users urging them to deluge Congress with calls saying don't pass this bill. Some TikTok users said they couldn't even use the app until they placed that call. Or the real reason being because the app needed to be updated due to bug issues on the TikTok app. That's the real reason why most TikTokers like myself didn't place a call. Not the way that this racist liar described it. That's all about a bill right. to protect TikTok. Imagine if the Chinese communists insisted that TikTok do that, say, in a conflict over Taiwan or in a trade yeah. war with China. That's why TikTok mm -hmm. has to be sold. I strongly support the bill in the House of Representatives. I hope they send it to the Senate and we pass it immediately. If Tom Khan thinks that TikTok exposes American data to the Chinese government and exposes children to harmful content and is the source of propaganda, then he's completely lying. And as for the children, again, it is the parents' responsibility to keep an eye on their child. It is not on the social media company's responsibilities to do that. Now, hear from this fucking Gallagher claiming that this bill is not a ban, even though it is. And he'll falsely claim that TikTok is a danger, which is not. Let's say the pressure campaign that TikTok put in place today, where they forced a pop up on the app that called members of Congress and also told a lie that we were we were forcing an outright ban, which this bill is not. Yes, it is, Gallagher. Yes, it fucking is. And we're fucking you to stop this bill. Congress needs to do the right thing and stop forcing a sale on TikTok and stop banning it. Proves the danger. They sort of prove the entire point. What fucking point? You made no point. You are fucking lying through your teeth. Imagine if those lies were allowed to spread on topics like our election or a foreign war. So that's what we're trying to guard against. And in our construct, users can continue to enjoy the app so long as we fix the ownership problem. Just because the American people are calling you to vote no against this stupid bill that you guys presented doesn't mean that we are lying. Like, really, dude, you implied that the American people are lying, and we are not. We the people are not lying when we call you to vote no against this fucking bill. And you cannot just force a sale on TikTok to go to a different ownership. That is un-American. So first of all, this the fact that TikTok responded to this unanimous uh, situation where you're passing this bill by putting an alert on these apps, telling people to call your offices, and then apparently it inundated congressional offices. Did you have this experience? Yeah. And basically what they did is they did a push, uh, push notification pop-up that required people to call their representative in order to access the app. 
But what ended up happening is that minor children ended up flooding offices with these calls, and they called the offices and said stuff like, what is Congress? What's a congressman? Can I have my TikTok back? Uh, one person called one legislator and impersonated his son. And so this is exactly the reason why so many people ended up voting for the bill, because TikTok used the geolocation data of minor children's locations to then spread misinformation about the bill, and it turned a bunch of lean yeses into hard yeses on that day. Why the fuck are you people so afraid of receiving calls for you to vote no on that stupid bill? Uh, that is, I mean, it, it seems to really refute, I mean, the argument that, that, that they've been trying to make is that they're not going to use the app to generate political action inside the United States. I mean, this seems like an explicit con contradiction. Oh, 100%. This is exactly why people were so upset that day. Um, it's wild. So can you explain exactly um, how this would impact TikTok? It's not a straight out ban. No, it's not a ban. It's basically two things. One, it's not a ban. It's a choice. And it's not about TikTok. It's about ByteDance, whether ByteDance will basically sell off TikTok. This is not without precedent either. One um, app called Grindr, which is a popular LGBTQ app, was owned by chi a Chinese company but once the U.S. government uh, realized that the Chinese Communist Party had access to sensitive data about military and government officials, they forced the sale of that app. It sold quickly, and there was no incident for the users. I expect the same thing to happen with regard to TikTok. Well, Grindr, first and foremost, isn't TikTok, so... So, can you explain why the control of this data? So, I don't actually put TikTok on my personal phone because I'm—I I honestly, the only reason I have—I've recently downloaded it. I'm old compared to all the TikTok users on my work phone. But you have there are concerns about what information is on this device that if I download TikTok onto this device, I am giving yes. to at the moment Chinese authorities. Can you explain what more we know about this? Sure. It, well, first of all, your location would be known. Uh, secondly, your, any personal identifiable information, any messages, any, um, any sensitive data that you entrust to the apps on your phone uh, that TikTok could get access to. Um, we know that they have nefariously used some of this data in the past. Forbes recently wrote articles saying that some of their reporters were targeted for reporting on TikTok. And so this is a this is a grave concern. You know, Raj, you can talk the talk, but can you show and tell? No, no, you can't. Do you think the president's campaign should be using TikTok? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to instruct the president on how to campaign. I don't have TikTok on my personal phone. It's banned from government devices. Um, but I think people should just use it very cautiously right now. It's legal to use, obviously, but I would just use it cautiously. Do you, should, I mean, should, is any, is any political campaign taking a risk if they are putting the app on phones that also include other campaign data? I, I personally think there's a risk if you put TikTok on your phone uh, for the same reasons that, you know, we are concerned about the national security threats informing this bill. A, it has access to your data, and B, it is... Um, the CCP ultimately that's uh, that has control over the algorithm. There is no definite proof on any of this. When are you going to stop lying about this? There is no national security threat directed to the American people. So what is the future here for this bill? I mean, we heard uh, Le Senator Graham express, you know, some sort of uh, concern about it. it. It's come from some other corners as well. I mean, do you think that this ultimately is going to become law? Uh, I think so, but I think it's going to require, obviously, our House passage, working with the Senate. The President has already said that they're going to sign this if it passes Congress. Um, so we've worked extensively with the White House and with Republicans to fashion a compromise bill. Um, I'm hopeful, but we have a lot of hard work to do. I'm hoping that this bill gets vetoed, and I'm hoping President Biden doesn't sign it, because if he does, it will be all over for him. And I really hate to say that, too. Um, how big of a, th of a threat, fundamentally, do you think China is to the U.S. right now? Um, 
I think they pose a, a real risk in terms of our uh, economic position, our technological position, as you can see with TikTok, and our national security. Um, I think that we can take steps to deal with it without veering into open hostilities. Poll after poll says that Americans believe that China is a, a one of our top you know, national security concerns, but they also say, don't go to war. Don't have open hostilities with China. So that's kind of the, the, the fine line that we have to walk. The only ones that are a threat to national security is the United States of America itself. Also, Donald John Trump, not by dance nor to talk. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so uh, on a slightly different topic too, but, but still in the national security realm, uh, the former president, uh, Donald Trump, he had once called on for a TikTok ban. He seems to have reversed that position. What's your take on why? I don't know. Uh, some people think it's a campaign contribution. I have no idea, but a lot of my Republican colleagues are equally befuddled. And I saw that a lot of them came out over the weekend um, kind of doubling down on their position with regard to TikTok, uh, that it is a national security risk and that we have to do something about it. I am so fucking done with these fucking retarded old politician liars. Here's the actual truth bomb coming your way here. Ash Greenwolf says it will not make a difference at all if TikTok gets banned because children will just get on the other social media apps that their parents will let them have, which is so stupid because they'll just do the same stuff on there as they did on TikTok. Do better. Hashtag keep TikTok. Yes, exactly, dude. Parents are the ones who are supposed to be responsible for their own child and for what they do online. Not the social media companies. They are not the babysitters. And our government, who apparently have kids themselves, should have created it. The parents should hold themselves accountable act. Because we need the U.S. government to actually start regulating parents more rather than the social media companies. Because they are not the lazy ones. The parents are. And these lazy parents have done nothing but hurt the American people. Which is why our government are doing serious, unhelpful things for the American people. And we the people do not want our U.S. government to be authoritarian. I fucking do not trust the U.S. government because if this bill does get enacted today, which will probably be today, Wednesday, by the time this video goes up, and in my opinion, it will become a disaster for all American citizens who use TikTok for businesses and other things. And sure, maybe transferring ownership may have worked for one company like Grindr before, but TikTok is far different. And if they start banning TikTok in the next six months, then our own government has betrayed the American people. So please urge our government officials to keep to talk now before it's too fucking late.